Okay, so what is all of that going into? So um, this is a cross-section of a typical um, kind of device. And we start at the very bottom here, where we've got the gate, the source, the drain, the body, the basic transistor. Um, and so that we have to, to kind of print, print first. And then on top of that are all the layers that are used to connect that device to other chips, to other circuits, and then eventually connect it to the outside world. And so um, many, 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 many layers. This is a simplified one, but there can be thousands of layers in a semi, uh, sorry, in a single semiconductor chip um, to get that. And so, um, so what lithography does, every one of these has to go through a photolithography step to do that, sometimes multiple steps just to get where they need to go. Um, and then each of those layers will require different processes. You may have to deposit some metal. You may have to remove something, do something else. And all of that requires a different photo step. And then kind of the basic thing here is here, how are we doing that? We also, um, each of those steps will have a different um, photo mask, and we'll touch on that later, where how are we, we printing that? Um, so there'll be thousands of different masks in a, in a, in a process too. Okay. And so just um, in general, kind of a basic flow of what's going on here um, in order to do this. Uh, there's four main ingredients. Um, first, we have a master pattern called a photo mask that's here. So what is that going to look like? That's the mask. And then we use a photosensitive film called a photoresist. It's a chemical that, um, when exposed to light, undergoes some chemical change. Um, you guys are probably most of the chemists who get that. Um, we have an exposure tool. This is um, the light source that projects the image from the mask onto the actual photoresist. And then we go through a tool, um, usually called a track, uh, that kind of processes all of this and does the um, final kind of baking, you know, metrology. All of the stuff that we have to do is on that track. And then we end up with um, features. So we're making lines, we make holes, we make um, pillars, all sorts of different things, depending on what the device needs to do and how the design is. Okay. So uh, how do we start? The basic substrate for almost all semiconductor chips is silicon. Uh, it's very pretty here. Uh, but so uh, a wafer is formed from an ingot, and we'll go through the video here. Um, but the ingot, um, I don't know, I've seen some of these here. Um, it's a one single crystal. They melt it, pull it out, and they form a, basically a really long ingot. They slice it up, they polish it, they maybe do some etching, some deposition to get to the right electrical properties. And then we end up with this uh, very fancy, expensive uh, piece of silicon. Um, so it's a mirror. And then this one is actually shiny on both sides. but uh, it's pretty shiny, uh, which is great, but if you wanna, and it's okay to get fingerprints because this is a reject. <laughs> um, but that, that's that's fine and dandy. But um, there's a couple things that we'll discuss later as to why that's a problem. So we've made this round; uh, it looks nice and circular. So the best way to coat that, um, there's a couple different methods of polymer film deposition in order to kind of do what we need to do. Uh, we use spin coating. Spin coating is nice because it's circular, we spin it. Um, we can get very uniform, consistent films. And a lot of times the films that we're looking at here are very thin also. Um, some of the films that we're looking at are less than 100 nanometers. Uh, so spin coating is very good for that. And so the process is that we, we coat a chemical. Usually we take a polymer and dissolve it in solvent, dispense it onto the center of the wafer, give it a good spin. Um, and um, it spreads across the wafer. Any excess will fly off. We don't care about that. And then um, once that's done, we usually get a nice uniform film. And just got a couple of pictures of some ugly um, issues here. Um, you can kind of see these little like shark fins, shark teeth, whatever you want to call them. That's whenever you don't have enough spun on the wafer, you end up with poor c coverage. But in, in general, um, we get very good coverage. We have people who use, uh, will coat the polymer to the very edge, like a 0.1 millimeter to the edge, and use all of that silicon because it's so valuable for them. 